What is going on you guys? It's your girl Diana, back at you with another YouTube video. These seven star superior raids have been live for a couple of days, so today I'll be going over how you can solo the raid in case you don't have a group to take them down. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Bye. Bye. So before we hop into the solo strategy, let's take a look at what exactly you're going to be going up against once you actually get into the raid. So Superior is of course going to be level 100 and it is a pure grass type Pokemon and it will also have the grass Terra type for this raid. It is going to have its ability contrary, which means that if any of its stats get lowered, it's actually going to boost that stat instead. For its main moveset, it is running Leaf Storm, Gastro Acid, Dragon Pulse, and Iron Tail, but it does also have access to Sweet Scent, Breaking Swipe, as well as Glare. And obviously things like Leaf Storm are kind of scary when it comes to Superior because it does activate its contrary ability, but never fear because we have our own contrary Pokemon to take into this raid to solo it, which is Lorantis. You obviously want your Lorantis to be level 100 as well. It is a pure grass type Pokemon too. However, for this raid, you do want it to have the bug Terra type. For its held item, you do want it to be holding the ability shield, which actually prevents it from having its ability changed by another Pokemon. Like I mentioned, we do also have the ability contrary, which means that if any of our stats get lowered, those stats actually get boosted. And our Eevee spread for this raid is going to be full HP and full attack with an adamant nature. Our moveset is going to be Worry Seed, Leech Life, Superpower, and X Scissor. Worry Seed is actually going to give Superior the Insomnia ability instead of it having Contrary so that you don't have to deal with it constantly boosting its special attack. Leech Life is there to deal super effective damage as well as give you HP recovery. Superpower is what you're going to use to activate your own Contrary ability. And X Scissor is going to be yet another hard hitting super effective move. But now that we know what we're going up against and what we're taking into the raid, let's go ahead and hop into the actual strategy. So the good thing about this solo strategy is that since we are actually going to be taking away Superpower superior's contrary ability, this will end up being like a pretty straightforward raid and we won't have to deal with possibly getting one-shotted by everything because it wants to boost its special attack all the time. But there's Staraptor immediately proccing its contrary ability, which is fine. It did go for Sweet Scent on the first turn, which actually helps us because it's trying to lower evasiveness. But since we have contrary too, it's going to raise our evasiveness. So we'll get hit less now. Turn one, we are gonna go ahead and set up Worry Seed. So like I said, we can take away its contrary ability and we're going to give it the ability Insomnia instead so that we don't have to deal with simply passing away in one turn. So now that it has the ability Insomnia, we are going to go for a Leech Life here just to start getting some physical hits in so that we can Terrastalize. We are also avoiding an Iron Tail. Like I said, we did raise our evasiveness, which is always nice because the less you get hit, the better, honestly. But now we're gonna go ahead and use X Scissor until we are able to Terrastalize. So here is X Scissor number one. We're getting hit over here, which is fine. Like I said, we don't have to deal with Contrary anymore, so I'm not too concerned with it like hitting us with anything at this point. But here is another X Scissor, and we did avoid yet another attack, which is always nice. And it looks like we are able to Terrastalize here. So I am gonna go ahead and do that. And we are going to use yet another X Scissor. And we're basically gonna keep using X Scissor until it actually Actually starts to clear stats because then we'll be able to set up. So here is our first Terrastalize X Scissor. It will do like a nice little itty bitty bit of damage. We haven't set up at all so that was a crit too. Oh my lord. We haven't set up at all so don't expect too much there. We are getting hit by an Iron Tail which is fine. It's raising our defense and here is the shield and it does nullify stats after this shield goes up as well which means that after it does that we are going to go ahead and be able to set up. So here is it nullifying all of the stat changes and we're getting hit by a breaking swipe, which is nice because that actually lowers your attack, which means that it's going to raise our attack. But now we're going to go ahead and we are going to use five superpowers in a row. So I did use PP up for superpower just so that I wouldn't run out like on accident or something. But yeah, you're going to use it for the next five turns. So here is going to be our first superpower. And here is yet another superpower. I like that we're also getting hit by these stat lowering moves from Superior because it ends up helping us because we have its old ability since we stole its ability and gave it Insomnia. So love that for us. It's also going to be nerfing itself by using Leaf Storm since it no longer has Contrary, it's actually going to lower its special attack stat instead of raising it. So here is another superpower. Like I said, we're just gonna use superpower for the next five turns. Here it is using another Leaf Storm that does like two 
damage because like I said, it's literally just not helping itself at this point. And here's another superpower from us. And don't think of these superpowers as like dealing damage. Think of them as you like using something like bulk up because since superpower actually lowers your attack stat after you use it, then it basically raises your attack stat instead. Boom, another superpower. You can see our attack has been risen, has rose <laughs> multiple times at this point. Here's another leaf storm to do 3.5 damage. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> and then now that we have used five, we are going to go for an attack cheer here just to give us a little extra boost. And we're gonna get hit by another leaf storm, which like I said, is fine. And you do have two options here. If you're a little bit lower on HP like me, you can go for a leech life here just to get your HP heals. But if you still have like above half health at this point, then you're more than welcome to just spam X scissor. But I'm gonna go for a leech life so that I can get my HP back. We are going to be full HP at this point. There it is. And you can see it did do a decent amount of damage as well. But now that we've done all of that, you are just kind of free to spam X scissor. And if you get hit by like a crit or something, then you can always go for a leech life to get HP heals back. If you get like paralyzed by something like glare, since it does use glare, you can always use a heal cheer as well so that you're no longer paralyzed. But yeah, you're basically just going to pick whichever move is going to benefit you the most, whether it's leech life or whether it is X scissor. So here I'm just going for X scissor just so that we can preserve our leech lives in case we need them. But since it keeps spamming leaf storm, like I said, it's just gonna keep nerfing itself. So <laughs> it's not really gonna do too much damage. So I'm just gonna stick with X scissor. We're almost through the shield as well. So, you know, it doesn't really, we don't really need to do too nothing fancy. <laughs> so here is yet another X scissor. And now we've broken through the shield and we should be good to go after this point. So like I said, it is really nice that we are able to get rid of its contrary ability since that's what makes this raid a little bit tricky. If you try to go into this raid with like a way, not a way around contrary, then it's not ideal because it will just end up one-shotting everything whether you've resisted or not. So I highly suggest using something like Lorantis with Worry Seed or like something with Skill Swap. I don't know, just so that you don't get hit with contrary attacks because that would probably hurt a lot. But there you go. Here we have, you know, happily gotten rid of the superior and in these seven stars, you do get some really good rewards. I got a bunch of Erba Mystica from this. Of course, you get your Terra Shards, your Vitamins, all of that fun stuff. But yeah, overall, I think this is a pretty like easy strategy. But there you have it. That is literally one of the easiest ways that you can solo these seven star superior raids. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful and leave a comment down below with what you used as like I always say, I'm sure people would love other options. But that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for today's video. And if you did find this video helpful, I kindly suggest that you consider subscribing so that I can continue to make content for you guys. And if you're already subscribed and you would like another way to support the channel, feel free to check out the merch store. There is a link down below in the description that takes you to not only my merch store, but also all of my other socials so you can keep up with what I'm doing on a daily basis. But thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to those of you who have joined the channel as members. I appreciate you all so much. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.